Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and Deb Honors to the Apostles and Elders of the Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Bashem Rakakwadash, my name is Yakabo from Plain Tables Camp. This Elder Apostles just did a video, Isaiah 32 and 9, refers to Babylon, not the black woman. That also links up with Micah, the seventh chapter. All right, so let's let the Apostle go into it. All right, so basically, uh, 32, Isaiah 32. And now I'm referring to a Babylon a great and the suffering that's going to come on a Babylon a great. All right. Yes. And we're we're in it. We're uh, the black woman, the, the Judah, Benjamin, Levi, all the tribes we're in. But when it starts talking about the uh, lament for the teats, um, it goes into the degradation. That's referring to the destruction of Babylon. All right. Uh, circle in a dream. All right. Before the, uh, you know, the the missiles come, it starts talking about the it says uh, in a short time and a little more than a year, you careless women will suddenly begin to care for your fruit. Crops shall fail and harvest shall never take place. It says tremble, you women that are eased, throw off your complacency, strip you, make you uh, make your pretty clothes, strip you of your pretty clothes and put on uh, barlap to show your. Grief, yeah, because it's going to be a lot of suffering in Babylon. And beat your breasts in sorrow for your bountiful farms and your fruitful grapevines. For your land will be overthrown with thorns and briars and your joy, joyful homes and happy towns shall be gone. All right? So it's leading up to the, the complete destruction of Babylon the Great. All right. So they'll be able to speak. It says Isaiah 32 and 9 refers to Babylon the Great, not the black woman. Right. Ah, prediction of Babylon's fall. Okay, so here we at the ninth verse. This is a famous verse. Listen, you women who lie around and ease, listen to me, you you who are so smug. Now we use that for these women, and it and it doesn't we can use that. We could you know, scriptures could be used twofold, right? But it's really the, the woman is talking about that woman that sitteth upon the scarlet colored beast. That's what it's really talking about. When it says, you women that are at ease. It says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear to my speech. All right. So it's referring to the woman that says on the scarlet color beast, like the apostle said. All right. America. All right. Many days and years shall you be troubled, you careless women, for the vengeance shall fail and gathering shall not come. And then the other apostle goes into the economic uh, downfall. So America is slowly circling a dream. All right. So that's the, what the root of it means, you know, and then like the apostle said, we can use it to uh, admonish careless women that are in Babylon or women in general that are amongst Israel. All right, many days and years should be, you be troubled. All right, and you go over to Micah. It says, uh, it says uh, God is the salvation is a source of salvation and light. Therefore, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the power of my salvation. The God, my God, will I will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy, when I fall. I shall arise when I sit in darkness. The Lord shall be light unto me. All right, the enemy is referring to Babylon. Esau, Edom. All right, not the 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 black woman or the woman. All right. Now we use, we can use that, but the root of it is referring to Babylon America, just like Isaiah thirty two. I will hear the indignation of Yahweh because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute my execute judgment for me. I will bring he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. So the enemy is is not referring to the woman. It's referring to Babylon the Great. Then she that is my enemy. Really, she's not even there. All right, but uh, it's implying about the the woman that rides sitteth on the scarlet colored beast. Then mine enemy, as I should read. Then my enemy shall see it, or shall see, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is Yahweh thy God? My enemy sh shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire in the street. Yeah, that's referring to Esau Edom. All right, that's Babylon being uh, totally annihilated. All right, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? 
So he saw that's he saw you know, mocking us like, well, you you serving the Lord, right? So well, he should save you then. If if you if you if you're the, the children of children of Yahweh, if you're the sons of God, then you, he's going to save you. Where where is he at? That said he was going to deliver you. We, we they putting so much hell on us. Where is your God to save you? Uh, he's going to deliver us. Right? He's going to endow his elect with spiritual power soon. Then she that is mine enemy. This is Esau, Edom, this is Babylon. All right. shall see it and shame shall cover her which said unto me yeah what's the shame all right they're gonna be stripped they shall lament for the teats over here isaiah 32 for the pleasant fields and the fruitful vines there is yahweh thy god my that my eyes shall see her now shall she be trodden down as mire in the streets that's what it's really talking about when it says you women that are at each scriptures can be used twofold right but it's really the, the woman is talking about that woman that sitteth upon the scarlet colored beast that's what it's really talking about when it says you women that are at ease matter of fact let me go here real quick and, and i'm gonna go in the nlt isaiah 47 ah oh, prediction of babylon's fall 32 and 10 in a short time just a little more than a year you careless ones will suddenly begin to care for your fruit crops will fail and the harvest will never take place if you go to certain stores ever ever since the um, the c19 thing you had empty shelves here we got from uh, 2019 2021 22 23 you still got empty you got you go to certain stores and there's empty shelves still man remember when you used to go to the stores su uh, supermarkets or whatever and you would pick up an item and there'll be stacks right behind it now they just got like one stack so th those are short, those are, uh, uh, how do you call that? Supply issues. It says, tremble you woman of ease, throw off your uh, complacency, strip off your pretty clothes and put on burlap, which is, uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, burlap, burlap is, uh, that's in Revelation chapter 11. Linen, not linen, but um, sackcloth. Sackcloth is burlap to show your grief. And that's what America's going through. But but it but it's gonna hurt you women out there. You you Edomite women, you women of the other nations that live in America, you black women. And you black women, you're gonna be the last one we're gonna pick. Because you got the worst attitude out there. And you better look good. That seven women shall take hold of one man. All them women are gonna look they're gonna they're gonna look good. Like I said in another previous video, every once in a while I get off of this exit, and there's a, a young she she had to be maybe 15, 16 years old, and she got a sister, I think a twin, and they're both gorgeous. I mean they can easily be models, man. And they, and they dress, they don't dress like they're homeless. And they got the signs up talking, you know what I'm going to do one day? I'm going to, you know, talk, I'm pull them over to the side and I'm going to maybe do an interview, you know, if I, if I see them and, and I find out what they start. They're gorgeous. They, they can easily be models. Easily, easily. They, can, they go to Hollywood, they're going to get work. I mean, beautiful, gorgeous, two sisters, man. And here y'all asking for money. Anyway, and you, if I, if I ever do that, take a picture and talk to them, whatever. Of course, I'll say, is it all right if I can put it on my channel or whatever? If they say, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get their story. And y'all going to see, man. And I've seen homeless women that are fine as hell, man. I've seen fine-ass women in, in shelters. Because there's men out there always looking for a woman, especially a fine one, a young, fine filly. When I say young, a, a young woman. Ayalama. Uh, Ayalama. Tremble, 11 verse. Tremble, you women of ease. Throw off your uh, complacencies. Strip off your pretty clothes and put on burlap to show your grief you can see a person the way they dress how they doing you can just look at them the way they dress oh that's a homeless person beat your beat your breasts in sorrow for your bountiful uh, farms and your fruitful grapevines so that's talking about this place right here this is also you can read about this in isaiah chapter 19 that's another uh, that, that whole chapter I, I believe i did that the whole chapter but you can do that again somebody do it again isaiah chapter 19 you know me i like doing them breakdowns man it says uh for your land will, will be overgrown with thorns and briars. Uh, your joyful homes and happy towns will be gone. So we know that that's not talking about the black woman. Your, jo your jo joyful homes and happy towns will be gone. And ultimately, that's from the missiles. The palace and the city will be deserted. Oh, these malls. These malls have been around since the late 70s, early 80s. Everybody went to the mall. There was a mall throughout the country. These major malls, malls of, mall of America, these major malls. Well, the malls are played out. Now you go to certain malls, they just they, and nobody's nobody's picking up, you know, building on it. And they showed you that in the movie. Um, 
was a Battlefield Earth, the opening scene of the movie, they was in an abandoned mall. And when that movie came out, malls were big, so they showing you the future in that movie. And in that movie, the Cyclops took over, which represented Israel. And the people that they took over were Edomites. All the people that they took over were all Edomites. But then at the end of the movie, the Edomites got the upper hand. If you, get, if you haven't seen that movie, watch that movie. Battlefield Earth. Matter of fact, I'm going to check to see if it's on uh, YouTube. You probably got to pay for it. It says uh, 14 verse. It says, oh, give me a second. And Busy Town, 14 verse. The palace and the city will be deserted. And busy towns will be empty. And that's happening right now. That's in um, Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 12. Wild donkeys will frolic and flock and flocks will, will, gra will graze in the empty forts and watchtowers. Isaiah 34, Revelation 18, talking about the desert. Isaiah 34, Revelation chapter 18, Isaiah chapter 13. There's a name a few places in the whole city. I mean, um, to destroy the whole land, uh, Isaiah chapter 13. Oh, Isaiah four, uh, chapter 14, Isaiah, Jeremiah uh, 49, 50, and 51. 15 verse. So we almost finished. Stick around. Until it, at last the, the Spirit is poured out on us from heaven, then the, then the wilderness will become a fertile field. So it's obviously not talking about America because America, once it's destroyed, it's going to become a desert. But there's going to be parts of this earth that's got to be re rebuilt back up. Remember, Israel's going to be destroyed too. It says, then the wilderness will become a fertile field. Part of our land is Saudi Arabia. Because uh, pursuant to uh, Genesis chapter 15, our land will go from the Nile to the, <coughs> to, to the Euphrates. So in between that, you got Saudi Arabia. Havilah in Genesis uh, 2. It says, then the wilderness will become a fertile field, and the fertile field will yield bountiful crops, which means the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth. It says, just, justice or righteousness will rule in the wilderness. Justice is talking about what? Judgment. The wilderness that's going to be destroyed, that's going to become a wilderness, is America. But then, that, but then, but then the land of Israel and other places on the world that were destroyed, they're going to, they're going, they're going to, you know, flourish again, especially our land. And it says in righteousness in the fertile field, because we are the righteous. And this righteousness, which represents us, will bring peace. Yes, it will bring quietness and confidence forever. Because we're never, we're never going to fall again. My people, which are the Israelites, will live in safety, quietly at home. They will be at rest. So now one Jake is going to get a job. You know, you're talking about, well, I got a good job. You know, I work with sanitation, you know. I get a pension and a medical for my family and dental and all that. I get two-week vacation. And all. That's not a good job. But in the, in the kingdom, we're, not gonna be, we, we're just going to be enjoying the kingdom of heaven. And we're going to have sl our slaves do the laborious work. Even if the forest should be destroyed and the city torn down, the Lord Yahweh will greatly bless his people, which are the Israelites. Not the Christians, not that old, old nonsense, supersessionism, replacement theology is all BS. Wherever they plant seed, bountiful crops will spring up, their cattle and their donkeys will graze freely, further proving that the kingdom of heaven will be here on earth. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom.